Nearly a year ago, I surprised my wife, Casey, with a cruise to Mexico and the Bahamas for Mother's Day. After a year of much anticipation and nearly forgetting about it, the time has finally come. We were able to convince some close friends of ours to join us. They have kids about the same age as we do, so we decided to leave them and do an all-adult trip. Casey and I have been married for nearly nine and a half years. Braxton is nearly seven years old, and this is our first trip we have taken without any kids. We were blessed with great parents who were able to fly in and watch our boys for a week while we were able to relax. The first day started off a little rocky. They lost our bags. We went through a major storm that caused some serious rocking on the boat and everybody started getting seasick. And I got really sweaty and didn't have anything to change into. So that was kind of a disaster. Day two, however, started off great. We ended up waking up early and going and played in pickleball. Some old guy tried to kick us off saying we weren't sharing, but about two minutes later it started raining and you know, everybody left, so we had the course to ourselves. Sometimes a small win over Casey is a huge victory for me because it rarely happens. So when it does happen, I tend to pop off a little too much and then she is very contentious with me and we don't talk for a couple hours. After pickleball and obviously beating my wife, not physically but emotionally in pickleball, we went over to the rock climbing wall and enjoyed a couple of climbs on that. Uh, Casey and I are a little out of shape doing this, so it did wear on us pretty quickly. For being in the middle of the sea, this rock climbing wall is actually pretty fun. Uh, the climbs weren't too hard, but with sweaty hands and a rocking boat, it made for a little bit of an adventure. Overall, this day was great. Rock climbing, pickleball, we did work out together. Um, walks around the track, as well as laying by the pool and just getting some nice sunshine. Overall, it was a very humbling day for Casey, considering all the things that we did. She had a hard time beating me. Good news for her, she can still beat me in running a mile, so everything else, she had a hard time keeping up with me. Alright, so Cozumel, Mexico. What a fun adventure. Uh, this was kind of a remake from our honeymoon over nine years ago. This was one of our day trips when we went to Cancun. So just like on the ship, Casey and I tried to fill as much of our time on the island with as much adventure as possible. We did a handful of activities. Casey's favorite was the first adventure. We rode around in, for a while in clear kayaks went snorkeling, and we had some awesome shrimp tacos. We also bought a bunch of drugs like Percocet, steroids, and Viagra. Just kidding, just Casey bought them. After the kayaking, there was a little confusion with the guides, but once that was all figured out, we headed right back to the ocean. 
while on the kayaks the current was bringing us back to the beach so it was pretty easy coming back while snorkeling it was the opposite when we came up we were about a quarter mile from where we had started so we started swimming back and nobody was really moving forward While snorkeling, we wanted to recreate our honeymoon pictures. The ones without life jackets were from our honeymoon. The swim back was actually pretty rough. For Casey, it was just another Wednesday. There were some tears shed by the other people in the group. The hardest part of it all was having to wear a life jacket, so swimming was naturally slower for everyone. Although the prize was not something to brag about, the guacamole and shrimp tacos were some of the best we had both ever eaten. After the double cardio from snorkeling and kayaking, we earned those calories. It was a good thing we got them too, because as soon as we got back to the dock, we ended up getting right back on a ta in a taxi for our next adventure. Oh yeah, we also had those little fish things clean our feet. That was weird. It felt like little electric shocks on our feet. My feet felt great afterwards. Definitely would recommend. We got back and headed off with Matt and Whitney to the dolphin adventure. We were headed to swim with dolphins. Unfortunately, we were not able to get good videos or photos. They do sell the encounter for $50 per photo. Unfortunately for me, Casey preferred I never remember this and opted out buying me one. We did, however, capture a few videos due to Whitney being under the weather, so she did not end up swimming with us. Whitney made these videos with much resentment, but I'm glad we were able to capture it. I think this was my favorite part of the trip due to the fact the dolphin liked me the most. The fourth day at sea was a party. By this point, everyone was worn out, so the morning we had everything to ourselves. We started with a nice and quiet workout and then followed up with the water slide and flow rider. They were not allowing anyone to surf, so we ended up just boogie boarding, which was still pretty fun. Whitney and Matt ended up sleeping in, so Casey and I got in as much as we could while we had the chance. Up until about 10.30 in the morning, we had the activities to ourselves. Coming out of the water slide, Casey was super excited because she had finally beat someone down the slide. It ended up being about a 10 year old kid. <laughs> After all of this, we made sure to go down to the buffet and carve a load as much as we could for the next adventure we had coming up. During the week, we ended up playing in every sort of sports event tournament that we could. We narrowly lost the three on three basketball tournament. Whitney and Matt won the pickleball tournament, which ended up getting rained out at the end, so we weren't able to completely finish. And to finalize the trip, we went out with a dodgeball tournament. We did okay, but the team stacked with a bunch of 18-year-old kids were tough to beat. dodgeball finished up we went to the bottom of the boat and we got to ice skate on their small ice skating rink. Casey and I were definitely the best at this as well. As you can tell from the applause this was the main event. I was originally planning on skipping it but once I saw the competition I figured I had it in the bag. 
the long-awaited belly flop contest. If it was a dance competition, I would have had it in the bag. With moves like that belly roll, it's hard for any woman on that boat to resist. This is where it all went south for me. I had the image ingrained in my mind, and even worse, so did Casey. A young man no less glorious than Patrick Swayze in the 80s whipped his swimsuit off and wore nothing but an American flag speed. I had one man to beat, and as I jumped off the platform, all I could envision were those tight, round buttocks. My flop flopped, and I could hear Casey's disappointment from underneath the water. All right, so day five was the last day of our trip. We were originally supposed to go here on day two, and we had passes to do their water park. Due to horrific storms blowing through the Bahamas, they changed our course towards Mexico so we could still enjoy both dates between Cozumel and the Bahamas. I'm grateful they did. However, we did miss out on our chance to go on the tallest water slide in North America. The rest of the day was nothing but a perfect day at Coco Cay. We swam in their huge freshwater pool and spent plenty of time swimming in the ocean. I planned on reading a book, but I spent most of my time napping in the shade. With us losing our pass to the water park, we did get the chance to leave the ship earlier than the other cruise ship that was there. That ensured that we could find the best beach spot possible. Overall, the cruise was a great experience and much needed break from reality. Matt and Whitney were a blast to go with. The food was great, the shows were incredible. Overall, the five nights we saw a comedian, world famous juggler, a show on ice, and a few musical numbers. The most impressive thing about the entire trip was watching Cruise Matt come out. Every night he would have two appetizers, two entrees, and two desserts for each dinner. My biggest takeaway from this entire trip was to ensure that you always have Matt on the boat with you. He will ensure you miss nothing. <laughs>